Hello students, welcome to Smart World, a school of complete education. Today we are going to learn the subject English, chapter 3.4, how the first letter was written. Warming up. Question number one. List the materials that man has used for the following purposes in different ages. The first column has object. The second column has Neolithic age, that is the later Stone Age. The third column has 1st century CE and the fourth column has modern age. In objects, there are weapons, fuel, utensils, food, clothes. In the ne Neolithic age, stone, bones and animal teeth were used as weapons. You have to fill in the blank for the other fields in different columns that is the 1st century CE, modern age CE and the Neolithic age, the latest stone age. Question number 2. Write your name in bold capitals. A. Now within 3 minutes try to make as many words as you can using the letters in your name. You cannot use the same letter twice in a word unless it is so in your name. B. You may use the above idea to devise a game with your friends. Question number 3. List words from your mother tongue or from Hindi which do not have an exact English equivalent. Try to write the meaning in English. Question number 4. Now list at least 20 English words which do not have an exact equivalent in your mother tongue. Question number 5. Browse the internet to find names of people or places etc. in any language that is not familiar to you. Can you pronounce the names correctly? How will you find the correct pronunciation? How the first letter was written <coughs> Once upon a time, most early was a Neolithic man and he lived cavily in a cave. And he wore very few clothes and he couldn't read and he couldn't write and he didn't want to. And except when he was hungry, he was quite happy. His name was Tegumai Bobsulai and it means man who does not put his foot forward in a hurry. But we, O oh best beloved, will call him Tegumai for short. And his wife's name was Teshumai Tevindrov and that means lady who asks of very many questions but we, O oh best beloved, will call her Teshumai for short. And his little girl daughter's name was Tafimai Metalumai and that means small person without any manners who ought to be spanked. But I am going to call her Taffy and she was Tegumai's, Tegumai Bobsulai's best beloved and her own mummy's best beloved and she was not spanked half as much as good for her. And they were all three very happy. Now attend and listen. One day Tegumai Bobsulai went down through the beaver swamp to the Wagai river to spare carp fish for dinner and Taffy went too. Tegumai's spear was made of wood with shark's teeth at the end and before he had caught any fish, it, had, it all he accidentally broke it clean across by jabbing it down to hard on the bottom of the river. They were miles and miles from home and Tegumai had forgotten to bring any extra spears. Here's a pretty kettle of fish, said Tegumai. It will take me half a day to mend this. There's your big black spear at home said Taffy. Let me run back to the cave and ask mummy to give me. It's too far for the little fat leg, said Tegumai. Besides, you might fall into beaver's mamp and be drowned. We must make the best of a bad job. He sat down and took out a leather mendy bag full of reindeer sinews and strips of leather and lumps of beeswax and raisin and began to mend the spear. From what we have read till now, give one word for the meanings of each of the names Tengumai Bobsulai Teshumai Tevindrov Tafimai Metalumai Question number 2 Who is the author trying to tell this story to? A meaning of a few words Swamp which means a marshy land 
a pretty kettle of fish which means a messy situation now let's continue with the story taffy sat down too with her toes in water and a chin in her hand and thought very hard then she said <clears throat> i saw daddy it's an awful new sense that you and i don't know how to write isn't it if we did we could send a message for the news pure just then a stranger man came along the river but he belonged to a far tribe the teveras and he did not understand one word of tegumai's language he stood on the bank and smiled at taffy because he had a little girl daughter of his own at home tegumai drew a hank of deer sinews from his mendy bag and began to mend the spear come here said taffy do you know where my mummy lives and the stranger man said hmm Silly said Taffy, and she stamped her foot because she saw a shoal of very big carp going up the river just when her daddy couldn't use the, the his spear. Don't bother, grow ups," said Tegumai, so busy with the spear mending that he did not turn around. "I aren't," said Taffy. "I only want him to do what I want him to do, and he won't understand." Then don't bother me," said Tegumai. and he went on pulling and straining at the deer sinews with his mouth full of loose ends the stranger man a genuine tevara he was sat down on the grass and taffy showed him what her daddy was doing the stranger man thought this is a very wonderful child she stamps her foot at me and she makes faces she may, must be the daughter of that noble chief who is so great that he won't take any notice of me so he smiled more politely than ever Now said Taffy I want you to go to my mummy because your legs are longer than mine and you won't fall into the beaver swamp and ask for daddy's other spear the one with the black handle that hangs over our fireplace the stranger man thought this is very very wonderful child she waves her arms and she shouts at me but i don't understand a word of what she says let's answer a few questions from the passage we have read till now why did taffy stamp a foot what did the stranger make for make of it here are a few meanings for the words which have in the passage we have read till now hank which means loosely tied bundle of st- strings so let's continue with the story but if i don't do what she wants i greatly fear that hofty chief man who turns his back on callers will be angry he got up and twisted a big flat piece of bark of a birch tree and gave it to taffy he read this best beloved to show that his heart was as white as birch bark and the meant no harm but taffy didn't quite understand oh shit see now i see you want my mummy's living address of course i can write but i can draw pictures if i have anything sharp to scratch with please lend me the shark's t- tooth of your necklace the stranger man and he was a tevara didn't say anything so toffy put her up a little hand and pulled at the beautiful bead and seed and shark tooth necklace round his neck the stranger man and he was a tevara thought this is very 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 wonderful child the shark tooth on my necklace is a magic shark tooth and i was always told that if any anybody touched it without my leave they would immediately swell up or burst but the child doesn't swell up or burst and that important chief man who attends strictly to his business who has not yet taken any notice of me at all doesn't seem to be afraid that she will swell up or burst i had better be more polite so he gave taffy the shark tooth and she lay down flat on her tummy with her legs in the air like some people on the drawing room floor when they want to draw pictures and she said now i'll draw you some beautiful pictures you can look over my shoulder but you mustn't joggle first i'll draw daddy fishing it isn't very like him but mummy will know because i have drawn a spear all broken well now i'll draw the other spear that he wants the black handled spear it looks as if he, it was stitching in daddy's back but that's because the shark tooth slipped and the piece of bark isn't big enough that's the spear i want you to fetch so i'll draw a picture of me myself explaining to you 
my hair doesn't stand up like i have drawn but it's easier to draw that way now i'll draw you here are a few questions why did the stranger offer taffy a big piece of birch bark why did the strangers admiration for taffy who does the author refer to when he says some people is taffy's drawing realistic in how many ways does it fail to show the real picture so let's continue with the story i think you are very nice really but i can can't make you pretty in the picture so you mustn't be offended are you offended the stranger man smiled he thought there must be a big battle going to be fought somewhere and this extraordinary child who takes my magic shark tooth but who does not swell up or burst is telling me to call all the great chiefs tribe to help him he is a great chief or he would have noticed me looks at taffy drawing very hard and rather scratching scratchily now i have drawn you and i have put the spear that daddy wants into your hand just to remind that you have you have to bring it now i'll show you how to find my mummy's living address you go along till you come to two trees those are trees and then you go to the over a hill and then you come into a beaver swamp all full of beavers i have been put in all the beavers because i can't draw beavers but i have drawn their heads so that's all you see in it then our cave is just beyond the beaver swamp it isn't as high as the hills really but i can't draw things very small that's my mummy outside she is beautiful she is the most beautifulest mummy there ever was but she won't be offended when she sees i have drawn her so plain she'll be pleased of me because i can draw now in case you forget i have drawn the spear that daddy wants outside the cave it's inside really but you show the picture to my mummy and she'll give it to you i have made her holding up her hands because i know she'll be pleased to see you isn't it a beautiful picture and do you understand or shall i explain again the stranger man looked at the picture and nodded very hard he said to himself if i do not fetch this grave chief stripe to help him he'll be slain by enemies who are coming up on all sides with spears now i see why the great chief pretend not to notice me he feared that his enemies were hiding in bushes and would see him let's answer a few questions write fended and explain with their proper spellings how did the stranger interpret taffy's drawing what mistaken notions made the stranger's race off like the wind let's understand the meaning of slain which means killed mercilessly so let's continue with the story therefore he turned to me his back and let the wise and wonderful child draw the terrible picture showing me his difficulties i will away and get help for him from his tribe he did not even ask taffy the road but raced off into the bushes like the wind which a birch bark in his hand and taffy sat down most pleased now this is the picture that taffy had drawn for him what have you been doing taffy said tegumai he had nodded his spear mended his spear and was carefully waving it to and fro it's a little wee arrangement of my own daddy dear said taffy if you won't ask me questions you'll know all about it in a little time and you will be surprised you don't know how surprised you will be daddy promise you will be surprised very well said tegumai and went on fishing the stranger man did you know he was a tevara hurried away with the picture and ran off some miles till quite by accident he found tashomai raven drop at the door of a cave talking to some other neolithic ladies who had come into a primitive lunch taffy was very like tashomai especially about the upper part of face and eyes so the stranger man always a pure tevara smiled politely and handed tashomai the bog bark he had run hard so that he panted and his legs were scratched with brambles but he still tried to be polite as soon as the teshomai saw the picture she screamed like anything and flew at the stranger man the other neolithic la- ladies at once 
knocked him down and sat on him for a long line of six while Teshumai pulled her his hair. It's as plain as the nose on a stranger's man face, she said. He has stuck my tegumai all full of spears and frightened poor Taffy so that her hair stands all on end. And not content with that, he brings me a horrid picture of how it was done. Look, she showed me the picture to all the Neolithic ladies sitting patiently on the stranger man. Here are a few questions. What was the stranger's impression of Teshumai Tevindrov? Is it impossible to promise that one will be surprised? What terrible message had Taffy's drawing conveyed to her mommy? Now let us understand what brambles means. Wild pricky pushes. So let's continue with the story. Here is my Tegumai with his arm broken. Here is a spear sticking into his back. Here is the man with spear ready to throw. Here is another man throwing a spear from the cave and here is a whole peak of pack of people. They were Taffy's bra- bears really. But they didn't look li- they did look like people coming up behind Tegumai. Isn't it shocking? By Rudyard Kipling, adopted from how the first letter was written. Answer the following. Point out two humorous expressions from all the Neolithic ladies sitting patiently on the stranger man. English Workshop Question number one. Read the remaining part of the original story. Question number two. Make as many five to eight letter words as you can within five minutes from the name. Teshumai Tevendrov. Five letter words, six letter words, seven letter words and eight letter words. Question number three. How do the following characters in the story live up to their names? Provide points from the story. Tengumai Bobsulai. Tafimai Metulumai. Teshumai Tevendrov. Question number four. The story is written in an informal colloquial style. They said it would be told orally. Find and write the expressions where the author addresses the audience directly in the story. For example, but we, O beloved, will. Now attend and listen. Question number 5. Write a character sketch of the stranger man using examples from the story to support the following attributes. A. Ignorant, innocent and polite. B. Calm and cool. C. Jumps to wrong conclusions. D. Hasty and unwise at times. Question number 6. Note the punctuation used in the story. Your single inverted commas or quotation marks have been used to show conversation. Rewrite the following using double quotation marks. Here's a pretty kettle of fish, said Tengumai. B. It will take me half the day to mend this. Question number 7. Underline the main clauses in the following sentences. A. And she was Tegumai Bobsulai's best beloved and her own mummy's best beloved and she was not spanked half as much as was good for her and they were all three very happy. B. One day Tegumai Bobsulai went down through the beaver swamp to the Wagai river to spare carp fish for dinner and Taffy went through. C. They were miles and miles from home and Tegumai had forgotten to bring any extra spears. D. Just then a stranger man came along the river but he belonged to a far tribe, the Teveras, and he did not understand one word of Tegumai's language. 8. Imagine Taffy comes to you for help to write a letter of apology in the modern script we use. She wants to express her regret to the stranger man from her mother's action. Write the letter of apology in an informal way on behalf of her. Question number 9. Imagine the stranger man narrates how the Neolithic ladies overpowered him. Write an account of the same making him the narrator. Question number 10. Making suitable groups convert the entire episode into a short skit and write it down. Each group leader must meet at first with others and add different end to the skit. A. Happy ending. 2. Sad ending. 3. Surprise ending. 4. Humorous ending. Question number 11. Write a short passage or essay on woman power in the Neolithic medieval and present times. Question number 12. Read Just Who Stories and the Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. 
Unit 4, 4.1, please listen. Warming up. 20 questions. Form groups of 6 to 8. One person who is a leader chooses one item, a picture, a paragraph or a lesson from any one of the 9 China textbooks and writes a reference on a slip of paper and folds it. Others ask him or her questions and try to guess what it is from his or her answers. Follow the rules given below. The maximum number of questions the rest of the group can ask is 20. You cannot ask a direct question like what do you have in mind. You can ask WH questions or yes no questions. The leader has to give truthful answers. Agreements and disagreements. Form pairs. List the things on which you have the same opinion and also the ones on which you have different opinions. Prepare a list of 10 things in all and see how far you agree or disagree with your friend. Some useful phrases are given alongside. You could talk about cl first clothes latest fashion second performance of sportsmen and women third traffic or transport in your area fourth cleanliness and hygiene in your area fifth future occupations or careers sixth latest news items seventh TV programs eighth mobile apps ninth any subject of your choice agreement I totally agree with you Exactly. Absolutely. You are right. I don't know. I need to think about it. Partial agreement. I suppose so. Ask for your friend's opinion. Do you think? Do you agree? What do you think? What is your opinion? How do you feel about that? Disagreement. No, I don't think so. I totally disagree. Not necessarily. I am not sure about that. Let's agree.